risky behavior. Don't leave women, women, women leave, women leave um, 70% of the time. If they're college educated, they leave 90% of the time. Correct. Women ruin relationships and they ruin families. Women so, leave. Women, women typically mm, do it. Actually, and so if, if a guy, if a man, ask, ask is, the majority of men, their first choice is not a baby mother. Mama. Just like, just yeah. like our first choice typically is not a short, broke guy. That's right. It's the that's same right. thing. It's the same thing. Mm. Now, now, will we put up with a guy that's shorter if he's good looking? Sure. Will, will a guy put up with a single mother if she has some other things that she brings to the table? Maybe she's attractive. Maybe she has other stuff. Maybe she's submissive. <clears throat> whatever it is that he values. Yeah, but it's most... I hate people keep bringing up that stupid statistic, right? You ever heard the expression, because um, they say, oh, well, women leave the relationship, so women ruin relationships. Well, what nobody will be honest and just simply say this, look, even though it's the woman that files for divorce, a lot of times neither one of them want to be married to each other. But have you ever heard the expression, it's cheaper to keep her? Men are scared of divorce, and so they don't do it. Just because one person filed doesn't mean both people didn't want to get the divorce. It's just that as a man, it's not in your best interest to get a divorce. It's in your best interest to just stay married sleep around if that's what you want to do S stay in your children's lives not have to pay spousal support not have to pay child support not have to move out of your house that you work so hard to get for this family so it's just common sense you know but to pretend like Every woman that got a divorce to leave a relationship, the guy, no, that guy didn't want to be with her either. He's just not going to go down there because financially it's not his best decision. So he wouldn't do it. Trust me, change the laws to how they were a long time ago, where as a man, you could leave the relationship, keep the kids, not have to pay child support. You're going to see a lot more men divorcing their wives. Trust me, the only reason women are leading and filing for a divorce is because it's on their side. But switch it back over to the man. The man going, they, they want to lead a relationship too. Everybody knows it. Like, seriously. Seriously. Like, it's, come on, let's, we, <laughs> we don't need to lie about it <laughs> and keep throwing it out there. It's kind of like abortion. You see the women getting the abortion and you go oh look the women want to kill but you have guys in the background that support it and don't want the, the baby either who you see is not always who is involved same way they said 51 percent of men are single and childless men don't get pregnant they don't have babies if they don't come down there and sign the birth certificate of course they on paper is childless. <laughs> Either way, I don't give a, a crap. These are all arguments that are not going to get us to any solution. They're stupid arguments because the numbers and the things that people go by don't really mean what they think it means. It doesn't. It's a, when people say, oh, it's the 70% children born out of wedlock, right? And then I was in a clubhouse room, and they said, yeah, 70% of women got kids, and they live in a household with their children and no father. But that's how they was reading that statistic. It just meant, <laughs> all the statistic meant it was just out of all the children that were born. 70% of them was out of wedlock. Well, we do know that people have kids, and then they get married later on. If you look like if you look at the black family breakdown, I need to pull them numbers up. But it's like what the um it's like what thirty it it kind of changes. So I would say thirty, thirty four percent married, then you got what the thirty three to 
what is it, 33% single mothers, head of households, single mothers, and you got the five, five to six percent single fathers, and everyone else is single, childless households, and you got um, undetermined. So we're talking about 60%, roughly 60% of the population that has children, right? Half of them, because I just gave you the numbers, half of them are married and the other half are not. And then if you read further in the article that everybody's always referencing, the article tells you that more than often, more often the biological father does stay in the home um, with that child. So people read these numbers and they say these facts and stuff like that, but they, they don't really try to figure out what's the meaning behind the things that they're saying. That's all I'm saying. So I'm saying some of these arguments, they're just dishonest arguments. And it's not going to help you get married. It's not going to help help you with healthy dating or anything like that. Instead of saying a bunch of bad things about each other all the time, I think people should more focus on what do they want out of life, the type of person that they want, and remain positive. No finger pointing, no blaming, because people don't just get divorced. And let me tell you something as a married man. When it's two people in a relationship, they both make it great or they both F it up. It is more likely that you got two messed up people in a relationship. Are there relationships where you got that one person and they're great and they're amazing and you got that other person that's just a butthole? Yes, but majority of the time, they're the same. Majority of the time, the husband and the wife, they're both messed up. Whoever side you on is whoever you friends with. Whoever, Whichever one is your cousin, whichever one is your brother, whichever one is your sister, that's who you tend to be um, on their side of things. So, all I'm saying is just look behind the wall, behind the wall, behind the wall, through your third eye. Stay woke. Risky behavior.